Hello. Happy Tuesday. Okay. We're going to get into it today, motherfuckers. We're doing it. It's happening. <laughs> um, wearing a strapless dress to talk to you about a strap-on incident. Cristina Aguilera. Aguilera means eagle in Spanish. But that wasn't an eagle move. That was a snake and a dick move, literally. So I, I sometimes I have to laugh because I don't know how this happens and how they get away with this shit and get away with it and get away with it and get away with it. So blatant and so obvious. Such grooming. Now, if you're in a cabaret, it's midnight, you got a few pops in you, you're with your pals, go for it. You're at the club, go for it. That was supposed to be a family-friendly, all-ages uh, show. What about that was family friendly? What about that protects a child's innocence? What about that protects a child's childhood? And, uh, you know, I know it's on the parents who bring their kids there. And uh, it's pride. So you take your risk. You know, I mean, remember when we were kids growing up in Massachusetts, we went to um, P-Town once and we saw all like these spiky dildos and chains and whips and leather and, you know, face masks and shit. And we were like, Dad, what is that? What's that? Mom? You know, like we were horrified. They were kind of pretending to cover our eyes and shuffling us out the door. We were all laughing. And it was campy and it was fine and it was fun. And I was maybe about, uh, you know, eight, nine, ten in that range. And my sister was maybe four, five, six in that range. So no big deal. Families can laugh about extreme sexuality, if you will. And, and, and sexuality is a spectrum. There are people who are going to be vanilla, boring and straight and cisgender and heterosexual like me and, and who just are not interested in uh, like I'm posting or in uh, making out with girls. Like, I just don't have any interest. People go, well, how do you know if you don't try? Everybody's a little bit gay. I'm like, no, I know myself really well at 51. It doesn't appeal to me. I'm not attracted to that. I'm not confused. I'm not curious. I know who I am in every way. My spirituality, my sexuality, my essence, my vibe, my energy, and my light. I know those things. It took me, you know, half a decade to really get clear on it. I don't feel the need to experiment, and I don't feel the need to, you know, test boundaries with that. I feel really comfortable in my own skin with my own sexuality. And I'm really awesomely wanting to celebrate other people who feel the same. However, there's a you know, discernment thing that has to happen of consenting adults versus vulnerable children, because that's grooming. That's a Baphomet agenda and it's grooming. And it actually did make me laugh because this week I put a comment on some site, I'll probably some entertainment tonight or some bullshit thing, which I'm moving away from all these gossip things because it's like, it's hilarious and it's ridiculous and it's absurd and it's a waste of time and energy, really. But I had written that P. Diddy, Puffy, Sean Combs, I don't know which alter ego name or, uh, you know, D.I.D. <laughs> K. Ultra Illuminati uh, name he's going by these days, but uh, what his handle or his handler is. But I had said, you know, that he was supposedly dating some, you know, 20 nothing or whatever, and then another 20 nothing, and they were both female. And I'm like, no, come on, man. You're, a, you're one of those what they call a DL guy in the rap community who people know you prefer what uh, Aguilera was wearing between her legs. You prefer penis, you know? And so he won't come out and he won't, you know, ruin his career because there's still too many people who I guess look down on that. And so it's dangerous to their career, their wallet, their bag, whatever you want to call it. To me, like transparency is your greatest safety on this planet. <laughs> you know, you live out in plain sight in the open, which is what she did with that moment of, um, you know, being provocative and trying to be artistic and creative and in your face. And what I like is the Maggie Smith line from Downton Abbey. Dear, a penis and religion are both wonderful things to have. Just don't go around waving them in people's faces. And that's literally what she was doing. She was waving her fake cock in this woman's face. They're stroking it. They're doing like a porn show and there's kids there. So that's indoctrination, that's grooming, that's not art or creativity or expression. Let's call it what it is. It's disgusting, it's perversion, it's deviance. Not because it's not okay that there are all kinds of uh, things on that sexual spectrum of whether you're going to be vanilla or whether you're going to be, you know, an extreme kink or S&M or worse, you know. It's not even about that. It's about the concept of consent on this planet and and grooming and and you know like being I'm not saying, you know, to be a prude, to be a whore, to be a slut, to be 
uh, you know, show skin, don't, you know, be modest, show your hair, your face, don't be, you know, humble. I mean, it's exhausting. You're all fucking exhausting with your bullshit, you know? So I did think, wait, was that planned? And I psychically tapped into the dildo comment or the strap on comment. <laughs> or was it like in my subconscious, I know, oh, hey, it's Pride Month. There's going to be a lot of dildos and strap ons around and rainbow this and rainbow that. And fine. That's theater. It's all theater. And that's the, what that community is about is campiness and theater and over the top and cabaret and Broadway and musical. Un awesome. Wonderful. Great. When it's consenting adults, it's delicious, sexy, healthy body positivity, sex positivity. Wonderful. Toys. Great. You'd lube. Great. Being uh, inventive in the bedroom, great. Consenting fucking partners, not like grooming and, and anyway, it's, uh, to me, it's the difference is obvious and apparently there's blurred lines in that world and they don't care and they'll expose their kids literally to this stuff rather than protect or preserve their innocence and in their childhood and to let them just be kids before you get them binding their breasts or tucking their penises or taking hormones when they're already all over the map hormonally. When an adult reaches adulthood, which we mostly on this planet consider 18, which I still think is too young, that's me, that's a different story and a different ball game in a different arena, okay? <laughs> but my God, woman, you know? And I find that the people like Madonna and Aguilera and Brittany and whatever, any of these people who kind of grow up Catholic, they do kind of go off on this rebellion path with sexuality. And they do want to wave it in people's faces and be making out with other women and, and just be, you know, like it's a... It is a desperate cry for attention in some ways. We all do that in our different ways. We all do the pick me game in different ways. We all do the fuck you game in many ways. This was a pick me and a fuck you all wrapped in one. And it was an Illuminati initiation, humiliation ritual, like putting a, an African-American man in a dress. So we got to put the bedazzled uh, neon green, green being a satanic color on Christina. And she's wearing like, these fake muscles and she looks like a bodybuilder and the big wig and the hair and the lips and the lashes and the... It was a disaster, girl. That didn't even look remotely good on you. I know you weren't going for the vanity. You were going more for the poke and the provocative, uh, you know, <laughs> in-your-face bullshit. It was hilarious, cringy, unbelievably cringy. And also, yeah, that's a sex crime. I mean, I, I just saw a comment. This guy was like, okay, so if I, as a man, try to pee behind a tree and I whip out my penis to relieve myself and there's no one around... I could get arrested for that, technically, because that's indecent exposure and that's a sex crime. That's that's deviance, you know, that's so again, who decides that? Is it a Bible thumper and, you know, down south? Who decides the gun thing? Is it people in D.C.? And who decides what's right, wrong, good, bad, light, dark, you know, acceptable and appropriate or wildly uh, disgusting and devious? And to me, it's like there's illusion and lies and deception in all of it and distortion and hijack of sexual energy and innocence. And so that's what it is. They're not even binary, bi, homosexual, heterosexual, cisgender, trans. Like these labels are to put on, you know, this human body that we are containers of light. So how do we share that with light with people? How do people take it from each other as power? Because, you know, there's light and then there's power. There's false light and false power. That's a whole other conversation for a whole other time. We got to be you know, someone's taking notes out there. Of like, remember you said this? Can we revisit that? Like, or if it's meant to be, it'll happen organically. Organically and orgasmically. <laughs> so anyway, to me, it's like, oh, that's cute. Pat, pat on the head. That's a funny little joke. And then also the part of me goes, that's disgusting, you're vile, you're creepy, you're weird, you're in a propes, and uh, you're off the rails. Because that, that, there's no sanity, peace, or grace, or respect, or dignity in any of that. And I know, pride is supposed to be campy, and it's supposed to be rebellious, and it's supposed to be silly and fun. I'm all for all that. I support the LBGTQI, ABCDFGZ community. Go for it. Be who you are. Love who you love. When you are over 18. Disclaimer, when you are over 18. The age of consent needs to be respected in these things. I mean, come on. It's a basic thing. It's like... People under 18 shouldn't buy guns and they shouldn't have to go to shows where someone's rocking, you know, some chick's rocking a dildo and they're doing a basically soft, not even soft, but porn show on the stage. You know, 
use your fucking common sense. Use your head. That is so pathetic and so ridiculous. And yeah, I'm being judgy. I'm being judgy about it because it's like, how can you not look at that and go, ew, <laughs> you know? And I laughed too. I'm not going to say I didn't laugh because I thought, oh, I just wrote that about P. Diddy and the strap on. I wonder if that's deliberate and it's a gaslighting thing. And they added that little touch or was it planned again? And I tuned into it and kind of saw that that's what Hollywood was going to throw next because it is pride month, right? Like, so right now, June is wedding month. So there's all this bride shit and all these wedding rings and all this stuff in my feed. And I'm like, oh, they just have themes and that they roll out at different times of year, or different seasons or different celebrations. So I don't want people to go back in the closet and hide and be unsafe. I don't have a problem with pe people being outed because I'm not gay and so that's not my experience and so I don't have a torment over my sexuality or who I am. I'm very transparent and open with who I am, who I love, who I like, who I crush on, who I'm attracted to, who I'm drawn to. I'm not, you know, going to cross those lines. I love women for friends and sisters and soul sisters and I think we're all beautiful and we have different things to offer and then some women I think are fucking shitballs. <laughs> like Kardashians and this Aguilera bitch now, you know, like what the hell? And I'm glad her balls finally dropped, but I hope that doesn't affect her singing voice. Okay, you guys be a prude, be a slut, be a whore over 18. That's just a basic, just a basic baseline, you know, consenting adults have orgies up the wazoo. If that makes you happy to me, I'm like, <laughs> thing would be like, where goes, where goes, where awkward, confusing too much. No, keep me in my vanilla and my sensual, not uh, having to be so blatant and obvious and PDA and swallowing each other's faces. Like, I love holding hands. I love hugging. I love kissing. I love smooching. I love touch. It's been far too long, and I'm getting out there, and uh, I'm going to find people, you know, men <laughs> that I enjoy. Uh, I'll man one and uh, at a time. And uh, that's my that's me. I'm not into threesomes or twelvesomes or ninesomes or... Uh, yeah, so the consent thing, you know, it's just, it's basic, basic human decency to not be grooming children towards a Baphomet, Baphomet agenda for Hollywood or for Illuminati uh, initiation rituals. Oh my God, these people think they're enlightened. They think that they're, they're the shining ones and they hold the light on the planet. Uh-uh, that is some dark and slimy shady shit. That's what that is. That is steal, kill, destroy rather than create, unify, and uplift. So you had your little joke, you had your little fun, very cute. Again, we have all these double standards for celebrities. If that had been a male pulling some of that shit, you know he would have been canceled and called out. So I'm calling you out, Christina. I think it was shady. I think it was slimy. I think it was shitty. It was a little funny, but mostly it was gross and slimy. Did I say slimy three times now? Yeah, I'll say it again. Slimy! <laughs> slimy and grimy. <laughs> and it's gritty and ugh, just, you know... I mean, I obviously have very strong opinions on this. I am a recovering Catholic. I certainly don't think anybody needs to wait till marriage to smooch or to, to make love or to have, you know, intercourse or anything like that. I was a late bloomer. I was 21 when that happened, and it was a date rape experience. It wasn't my greatest initiation, admittedly, into the, the sensual and sexual pleasure realms. However, that said, like, you see all these idiot, stunted, juvenile tricks, literally tricks, and smoke and mirrors, games they're playing, it dilutes it. It dilutes the power and the potency and the beauty and the mm of it, you know, which I want people to have sexual pleasure. I think if we had a lot more sexual pleasure on this planet, consenting adults, then we would have a lot less tension, stress, depression, and anxiety. So I'm all for a good orgasm. I am. Whether you're giving it to yourself or whether you're sharing it with a consenting adult partner. However, putting a strap on on and parading around a stage where there are children in the audience, man, like level the fuck up, grow the fuck up, and get a fucking clue. All right? Obviously, I don't have a problem with profanity, bearing skin. You know, I, I'm a an, walking anomaly in a paradox. I don't fit into any one box, and I'm okay with that, you know? And me and my box are safe from rapists, bullshits, pedos. You know, like, I, I'm at a stage in life where I do, I let it rip, I say the things, and I call out the bullshit wherever I see it and whatever face and dildo it's wearing. Okay, so, you know, be happy, be healthy, be safe, be loved, be loving, uh, be open, be playful, be joyful, be serious, be sacred, be, you know, sort of holy with it. Uh, holy, you <laughs> know, we all got our holes. 
and I can be crude and vulgar and I can be completely, um, you know, on my high horse. And I did say a couple of years ago, you better get off your high horse unless it's a Pegasus and you're going to get thrown. And apparently Harry just got thrown off his horse. So we all get humbled in our different ways at our different points. We do step on toes. We do burn bridges. We do rattle cages. We do ruffle feathers. We do uh, find kindreds who are totally cool with that and find it refreshing and exciting and thrilling rather than annoying or problematic or something to be reined in or squashed or tamed. So I stay, I say stay wild, stay free, stay sensual, stay healthy with it, stay you with it, be clear on what you want. Like I met a firefighter who's ready for retirement. He wants to be a cross dresser. Okay, is he hurting anyone? His wife is fine with it. They're fine with it. That's their jam, you know? And then there are these sort of younger people who are more fluid and they're calling themselves non-binary this or trans that or whatever. Fine, play dress up. Do what you want. If it gets into hormones and surgeries, it should be 18 and up. Let people not disfigure their bodies or deform their bodies that they were given by creator. Like this is the assignment. I understand the assignment. I'm a female human woman at 51. I'm probably having some of my peak times actually. I'm feeling sexier and more comfortable in my skin than ever before. I'm ready for a partner and a lover and a bestie and a hubby all in one man. Uh, and I'm going to casually date until I find him. And that's how that's going to go. And I'm probably going to keep it local uh, rather than get into these fantasies and these celebrity crushes, which just derailed my life, led me nowhere, and made me chase my own tail. And uh, so no more chasing tail <laughs> for me <laughs> or running myself in circles or ragged over people who, you know, are not clear or kind or genuine in their intentions but are murky and uh, insecure and weird about how they come at me. And so to me, the approach really matters. Not that I'm some goddess sitting on a cloud or on high who isn't warm and friendly and open with the right situation in person and moment. But, um, you know, a, a, a sequined or bedazzled dildo does not do it for me. <laughs> and it's just wrong to do that in front of children. I mean, I, I stand by that. I'm trying to say it playfully, gently, firmly, you know, clearly that... Uh, there are certain things, man, you know, certain things that do not need to happen. And that was one of them. But it was provocative. It was interesting. It was creative. But it was also really stupid and well ill thought out and poorly exec executed. And the outfit was awful and unflattering and terrible. And ugh. so that's my critique of that. And, you know, what are you proud of besides your sexuality? Let's, you know, that's a month a year. Okay. We get like women's history. We get one day, black history. We get one day, or maybe we get a month. I don't know. So let's move on. Like, what do we do the rest of the year? How can you be proud of yourself? That doesn't have to be about rainbow flags and sequins, you know, like that's, you're more than that. Whoever you are, whoever you love, however you, you know, rub genitals in the bedroom behind closed doors, who are you? And what are you actually proud of? Not your achievements, but your, your heart. Be proud of that. Okay? All right, you guys. Mwah. Love you. Bye.